Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Wednesday. It is the 23rd of April, and Tom and I decided to coordinate our yeah. outfits exactly today. A little bit springy. We're getting in that <laughs> spring mode, you know? We look like the same person. Yeah, look. Hi. <laughs> Anyway, well, it's okay. Not done on purpose, by the way. No, we're just psychotically connection. Oh, uh, no, no. He secondly. called me last night and said, what are you wearing tomorrow? No, no, I didn't. <laughs> I was going to. <laughs> he thought about it. I thought about it. All right, well, temperatures today are a little bit on the cool-ish side, so grab your gloves. You'll probably need them this morning. We're and nine degrees out through Kitchener. Now, this fire is certainly going to be causing some closures. Yeah. And it's, is it a, it's a pesticide it's facility? It's a pesticide facility. Uh, so it's just uh, on Thamesbury Road, and it's just up in the uh, north of... The 407 at Airport Road. So that whole area is going to be a lot of smoke. There's quite a bit of wind involved in this. Yeah, it's Some firefighters today. have already been injured in this as well. Uh, so there's lots of units on the scene. So avoid Airport Road in and around uh, the 407. So I guess it would be better to be on the north side. That's of the right, fire because the winds northwesterly, the, the, the south, the southeast side is going to yeah. be uh, nasty. Okay, keep that in mind if you live mm. in and around that area. Mm. Uh, yesterday was Earth Day. A lot of people participated. These a little bit more rain on the way. We'll talk about that. In a moment, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Sunshine tomorrow, we warm up slightly. We'll hit a daytime high of 11 degrees. We go up to 13 for Friday, but rain on the way. This is expected to hit the GTA kind of mid afternoon. And then Saturday, we eventually clear out Sunday, the better day of the weekend. Lots of sunshine. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday. It is the 23rd of April. We do have some rain moving through eastern portions of the GTA and a little bit of snow to the north. Oh. I know. <laughs> Somebody actually oh, tweeted me no. and said, Emily, is it winter or is don't. it spring? Need summer. That's what they hashtagged. Don't. Need summer. Don't say it. Snow? Don't no, say snow, it. Snow, snow, oh, snow, oh, snow, 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 Oh, <laughs> Hurts. They're a little bit cool. we got a big fire up in uh, Airport Road south of 407, so stay away from that. It's a pesticide company. Could be nasty. I wonder if they're going to start evacuating homes on the south well, side. There, it's a lot of residential on that, on the on the east side of airport so road at that location black. so we'll see i haven't heard peel regional yet evacuating but there is that possibility uh last night you were saying your son was downtown at the raptors game kind yeah, of yeah. big night for the raptors last night uh, congratulations they on the win the, next day. the thing is yes he went down to the square but it, it was around seven o'clock well by then the square is full right so he and his buddy stayed on the outside edges of it sort of oh, watching gosh. the action and got home at one o'clock in the morning Tom got no sleep last night. I didn't get my sleep. I don't sleep very well when my 15 year old is carousing downtown Toronto. Yeah, you're probably mm. not alone mm -hmm. in that. Well, the weather was great yesterday for have more rain, so those rain barrels will probably come in pretty handy as the weekend gets closer. We'll talk about that in a moment, but first, here's Tom. Well, once the showers and snow <laughs> moves out this morning, we are going to be seeing some sunshine, but northwesterly winds, so temperatures a little on the cool side. High pressure stays firmly in place for tomorrow, so more sunshine on the way. But then this next system that you're seeing coming into your screen, that's what's going to be affecting us come Friday. We're looking at 13 degrees, but showers in the forecast. Saturday, we start to clear. Sunday looks good. Temperatures staying close to seasonal right through the weekend. Yabba Dabba what? No, this isn't the set of the new Flintstone movie. Coming up, how many tons of rock came crashing down in this Colorado landslide? Lots of rain would be a good thing for that fire. Unfortunately, we're not going to see lots of rain. It's literally just showers as that trough moves through. We will see some sunshine by this afternoon, and then tomorrow, as high pressure sits firmly in place, more sun, but then rain expected throughout the day on Friday, clearing up throughout the day on Saturday, and then Sunday looks to be the best day of the weekend. It's Wednesday. It is the 23rd of April. Thank you for joining us here on the Weather Network. I've been going through my social media, my tweets, and mm -hmm. my Facebook posts, and people are saying, okay, enough is enough. I need summer. This is well, ridiculous. Well, yeah, but the problem is it's not going to be here anytime soon. No, and this is typical weather for spring. I think people are forgetting that even though we are seeing that kind of rain snow mix to the north that happens at this well, time of year yeah. i think it's because we had such a rotten winter and it was so long and so cold i think people are just done there's a lot of contributing factors you've got lake superior still 65 percent ice yeah that's a big block of ice now a lot of the others are starting <laughs> yeah. to are starting to uh, diminish a bit but we have a lot of cold water around us it's like being in the middle of an air conditioner so expect that to be part of the factor as we head into what an later awful spring way to put it it's like well, we are in the middle of an air conditioner. well you're surrounded by cold water and yeah, lots of it yeah so this is yeah, a big problem yeah mm. yeah <laughs> 
Thanks, Tom. <laughs> well, you know, you know, and of course, some snow to the north made it a little slick. And contributing factors to that fire, the wind, that northwesterly wind, yeah. not good. No, it's a northwesterly wind, unfortunately, and it's just in the air airport road 407 area down towards Derry. It's an industrial fire. It's a pesticide company. Jeez. It's a dangerous fire. Fire to fire just injured. Go train service suspended on the Kitchener line right now until they find out if they can reroute them around this fire scene. All right, well, we'll continue to update you on what's happening in that area. Sure. All right, we'll talk about the long range, we'll talk about the potential for sun, and we'll talk about the potential for more rain in just a moment. But first, here's Tom with an update. High pressure moves in, which means sunshine, but northerly winds which means colder temperatures. We do have another system on the way for Friday. This one is going to be responsible for bringing us some rain, 13 degrees. Saturday, Sunday look much better. We are going to clear out and see some sunshine temperatures staying a little bit below seasonal. Well, we are going to see sunshine into to later on today and into tomorrow. 11 degrees, so slightly below our seasonal average. Our next system will move in for Friday, bringing us rain, 16 degrees through Hamilton. We clear out late day Saturday, so we could see some sunshine, but Sunday looks as though to be the best day of the weekend. Temperatures, unfortunately, over the weekend staying slightly below our seasonal average. Through the well, I'm starting to get messages on Facebook and Twitter saying, OK, Emily, I need some summer. I know, me too, trust me. Uh, but I decided to show you some pictures of spring-like conditions. This beautiful horse, Prince, enjoying spring. I think so, look, it looks a little green, doesn't it? Sure sign of spring, which means summer. Ponies, little foals, how cute is this guy? And the smells of spring, skunks. Hmm. My dog, Roxy, got sprayed by a skunk last summer. It was awful. Worst two weeks of my life, hands down. <laughs> Yesterday was Earth Day, and this week is Earth Action Week, and it's all about solar energy. Very cool idea. All right, turning things over to Tom for an update on traffic. Well, we are going to be seeing high pressure move back into the area, which is great news for sunshine, but those northwesterly winds keeping things a little on the cool side for this afternoon. Now, our next system will start to approach through the area tomorrow, bringing in rain eventually for Friday. We're looking at around midday for the GTA, even a little bit into early afternoon. And then by Saturday, we start to clear out. Temperatures stay close to seasonal, a little cooler for Sunday, but we are going to be seeing some sunshine for the beginning of next week. Well, we are going to be seeing high pressure move in after this low departs start southern Ontario. So we'll be left with sunshine today and a daytime high around 9 degrees. Tomorrow we bump up slightly to 11. And then Friday, we do have a new system coming in, helping our temperatures warm up with that southerly flow. So 16 through Hamilton, but bringing us some wet weather. It's not going to be a complete washout of the day, and we will start to clear by Saturday. But it looks as though Sunday is going to be the nicest day. Thanks so much, Kevin. Yeah, firefighters have been working hard for the last over just over two hours, mm -hmm. but it looks as though they've got it mostly under control. They're, they're getting there. They've had a few uh, walls collapse, uh, and uh, so they're continuing to pour water on it, but it looks like they are getting the upper hand. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, well, the rain that is now moving out of the GTA would have certainly helped matters if it was in the area, but unfortunately, we left a little bit of sunshine today. But cooler temperatures because of that northwesterly wind. We're only going to see a daytime high of 8 for the city of Toronto. A little down towards Hamilton. Hamilton a little bit warmer, but still below our seasonal average. We should be around 13 for this time of year. We'll talk about more sunshine in the long range. We'll also talk about another system moving in just in time for the weekend. All those details just ahead, but first, here's Tom. Well, the system that's departing is going to leave behind high pressure, but northwesterly winds. So sunny, but a little cool today. Next system starts to approach throughout the day tomorrow and by Friday, midday, early afternoon. That's when we're going to start to see the rain develop. We're looking at 11 degrees for tomorrow and then 13 for Friday. Again, it's going to be fairly wet by the afternoon. Saturday, we start to clear out, but it looks as though Sunday is going to be the nicest day of the weekend. Thanks so much, Kevin. Yeah, luckily, it looks as though they've got most of it under control. Yeah, but... they're inside right now just assessing uh, little hot spots, uh, water uh, penetration of boxes and things like that. There was some pesticides in this plant. So they're still doing inside the building and still pouring water on hot spots. All right, well, looking at the radar, most of the rain has really tapered off throughout much of the GTA. Why? We've got those northwesterly winds keeping our temperatures below our seasonal average today. And we'll talk about when and if we warm up in the long-range forecast. But first, here's Tom with traffic. 
High pressure moving in as the area of low pressure moves out, so we are going to be seeing some sunshine, but temperatures will be a little on the cool side today because of that northwesterly wind. We do have another system approaching this one moving into our area by Friday, and it is going to be giving us straight rain. Areas through northern Ontario can maybe deal with a little bit of snow, but for us, it will be showers. So sunny tomorrow with high pressure, and then Friday, 13 degrees, rain developing by about midday through the GTA. Clearing up over the weekend, Sunday looks like the better day. High pressure in place means sunshine for later on this afternoon and throughout the day tomorrow. Temperature still slightly below seasonal. By Friday, we bump back up to 13 through Toronto, 16 through Hamilton. We do have that rain on the way, so that warm southerly flow is going to warm up our temperatures, but the system will bring us some wet weather. The rain will continue Friday overnight and until Saturday morning, but then it'll start to clear out and we'll be left with some sunshine for Sunday, which is nice. Sunday certainly looking like the better day of the weekend and temperatures remain close to our seasonal average right into the middle of next week. All right, thanks so much, Kevin. Uh, I do have to mention this because everybody's talking about it on Twitter, how well we matched today. Well, there you go. We have other news teams tweeting us saying we don't have a chance. I was, I was, <laughs> going, to, I was going to text you last night, but then I just said, did it psychically. I just said Emily it's wearing true. light beige and brown. It's true. It's true. We're psychically connected. We are. <laughs> That's what happens when you work together That's for That's so for too long. long. <laughs> Uh, so thanks. Thanks on our coordination Thank compliments. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll talk about the rain that is now moving out. Of we will warm up. High pressure moving in. We are going to be seeing some sunshine. How long will it last for? I've got those details just ahead in your long range. But first, here's Tom with some traffic. So the northwest winds are what's keeping us fairly cool throughout the day today. We're only going to see a daytime high of 9, but sunshine moving in, so we are going to see uh, nicer conditions, I guess, once this cloud cover starts to lift. By the weekend, however, we do have a system coming in giving us rain for Friday, but clearing throughout the day for Saturday. Thanks so much, Kevin. It has been quite a morning for those firefighters, and traffic around the area has certainly been a bit of a nuisance. And it could be it could be closed probably for up to 24 hours as the investigation continues. They still have to really get inside this building and start dissecting what was in there, what the cause was. So, and there's butane lighters and insecticide yeah, in there and things like that. Thing. So nasty. All right, well, we are going to be seeing some sunshine today, fingers crossed, once these clouds kind of move mm -hmm. out. Temperatures are still going to be a little bit on the cool side. You get out in your community and spend some time outdoors, get that fresh air, or put down those video games and iPhones and iPads and smart things, and well, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, we do have the long range forecast coming up, more rain, but also more sun. First, here's Tom with traffic. What did she say? Put down iPhones and iPads? Has she seen any teenagers? Well, uh, most adults actually or these days. Or <laughs> yeah. in the morning. Never, never. <laughs> right now, if you're heading out onto the highways, well, off north of Derry. And we've got details in the long range. Hmm? Oh, oh. yes, yeah, right. Long range forecast. <laughs> we are going to see some sunshine tomorrow, but the rain moving in for Friday. We are going to see sunshine returning for Saturday, but Sunday looks like the better day of the weekend. Yabba dabba what? No, this isn't the set of the new Flintstone movie. We have high pressure in the forecast for the rest of today and into tomorrow, so we are going to be seeing some sunshine. Temperatures warming up slightly by tomorrow. We'll see a daytime high of 11 degrees. Rain moving through our region on Friday, but bringing with it a push of warm air, so 16 degrees through Hamilton on Friday, but wet. Rain developing through the GTA around midday, early afternoon. And then we start to clear for the weekend. By Saturday, we're looking at 12 degrees, mix of sun and cloud. It's still going to be potentially quite wet in the morning, but by the afternoon, clearing out. And Sunday looks as though it's going to be the better day of the weekend. Temperatures for the remainder of the week staying close, but possibly even a little bit below our seasonal average. Another wonderful episode of Science Behind the Weather. Thanks so much for that. It is Wednesday. It is the 23rd of April. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. Temperatures today, a little cooler than they were yesterday. Will we warm up? I'm going to have details and the answer to that coming up in the long-range forecast. But first, let's join Kevin. He's been in Mississauga all morning long. And Kevin, they've been dealing with quite the blaze behind you. What kind of details do you have for us now? All right, thanks so much, Kevin. We will warm up to about 8 or 9, so not significantly warm. Tomorrow up to 11 with more sunshine and then rain moving in on Friday, but clearing over the weekend through the GTA. 
Yeah, Toronto is certainly not making that list today. Temperatures only hitting about 8 degrees this afternoon. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thank you so much for joining us on this Wednesday. It is the 23rd of April. We've been dealing with a massive warehouse fire through Mississauga this morning. Kevin has been live on location and Kevin, they're still battling these flames. Still, you can see the heavy smoke in the background. Thanks, Kevin. 11 degrees tomorrow with that high pressure in place. And Friday is when we see our next system coming in. Saturday, more cloud cover than sun. So it looks as though Sunday is certainly going to be the better day of the weekend in the GTA. I'm starting to get the impression on social media that people are actually over spring and then they just want summer to get here already. The first tweet, I really want to go camping. Hashtag need summer. Take a look at this beautiful shot. Doesn't that bring you back to great summer memories? Weekend at the lake. Oh, stunning. Did I miss summer in are we back into fall weather? Yeah, maybe. When will the coldness end? It will, eventually. I can't wait until I can get up every morning and go on a morning run. Needs summer. Lots of exercise. And uh, summer is so close, yet so Around the world in 80 seconds. Thanks so much, Kim, for that. It's Wednesday. It's the 23rd of April. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. Temperatures today, a little on the cool side. Yesterday, we got up to about 14 degrees to minus 3. 3 degrees for tomorrow morning, but sunshine. High pressure firmly in place, so we are going to be seeing more sunshine throughout the day tomorrow, but only a high of 11, so slightly below our seasonal average. By Friday, we do have a new system coming in. This one's going to be giving us some rain, but a push of southerly air, which means our temperatures will warm up slightly. We really will start to clear over the weekend. Saturday, more cloud cover than Sunday, so it looks as though Sunday is the better day to get out, but temperatures will be a little cooler. How cute is Natalie's baby Nora? So sweet. TWN future broadcasters. Amazing. It's Wednesday. It is the 23rd of April. Thank you for joining us. I'm Emily Vukovic. We have been seeing a lot of cloud cover this morning. We will see some sunshine this afternoon, and I'll talk more about that in a moment. But first, we're going to check in with Kevin Yard. He's been joining us in Mississauga all morning, and there is a massive factory fire going on behind you, Kevin. The good news is that from the looks of it, uh, they've got most of it under control. All right. Thanks so much, Kevin. Temperatures today getting up to only 8 degrees, but we do have high pressure in place, which means we will see some sunshine. Those northwesterly winds are what's responsible for keeping our temperatures a little on the cool side. Now, we do have our next system starting to approach throughout the day on Thursday, but we will still see some sunshine until Friday. That's when we cloud over. That's when we see the rain developing. By Saturday, we will clear out by about midday, and then Sunday looking like a better day of the forecast with lots of sunshine and 9 degrees. This Storm Hunters, an episode you do not want to miss tonight. All about hurricanes at 7 and 10 p.m. Eastern. You do not want to miss this. It's great TV. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It is the 23rd of April. We've been talking about cooler temperatures this morning, and nobody knows them better than Kevin Yard. He's been joining us live in Mississauga. Huge factory fire behind you going since about 4.30 this morning, but it looks as though, Kevin, they've got it under control now. Yes. Thanks, Kevin. Well, we do have high pressure in place, so we will see a little bit of sunshine, even though those northwesterly winds are keeping our temperatures a little on the cool side. What you're watching coming into your screen is our next system. Now, it's not going to start to affect us until the weekend, Friday, unfortunately. That's when we're going to see the rain, but Saturday and Sunday, things start to clear out. Tomorrow looks pretty good. We've got high pressure still in place, seeing a daytime high of 11. Passion. I'm starting to get the impression on social media that people are actually over spring and then they just want summer to get here already. The first tweet, I really want to go camping. Hashtag need summer. Take a look at this beautiful shot. Doesn't that bring you back to great summer memories? Weekend at the lake. Oh, stunning. Did I miss summer and are we back into fall weather? Yeah, maybe. When will the coldness end? It will eventually. I can't wait until I can get up every morning and go on a morning run. Needs summer. Lots of exercise. And uh, summer is so close yet so close.